firstly, before we print our family t-shirts, we need to do the designs. Today, I'll take you through the process on how I design in Canva. You need to have an account with Canva. Just go to Google. It will give you an option to log in or to sign up if you do not have an account with Canva. But since I have an account with Canva, I will just log in. If you do not know how to sign up, let me know in a description box below so that I should make a tutorial for it. I'm on a home page now, as you can see here. We need to create a design for a t-shirt. There are different samples. This is a t-shirt sample. It's either you can use this blank or you can go to your create design. Let's just take that loot. It will still bring you options for what you want to do. We should just use the t-shirt template. On the other side, it will bring us templates, elements that we are going to choose from, we are going to explore. If you want to if you want to upload pictures and whatever, you can also do that, photos, text, styles. But for today, we are only going to be using elements and we are going to use text. I will click text. You can choose also, there are examples of what you can use. It's just also a template of words that you may like to use, like, you know, there's italic, lemon light, and all that. Instead of me using uh, uh, these, uh, I prefer I do my own text. I will just use uh, the word blessed. I'll type blessed, and then I'll maneuver it. I'll I'll play with it whichever way I want. Here, as you can see on this option, uh, this text, the name is Open Sans Extra. So we can go there to change if we want a different style of which I want a different style, don't you? <laughs> Basic is not always good. I'll keep on checking which one I think I like. When I'm satisfied, I'll use that. Did you see where I clicked? The thing is, there are some uh, fonts, because these are called fonts. If you see a clown next to it, it means you have to pay for it. But the ones that do not have any clown, that means they are for free to use. So since I'm using a free version of uh, Canva, I will, I will just use the free stuff because I, if you go to Canva Pro, it's a paid version, you have also more options. But we are still in our early stages, so we have to relax and take it easy. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, this is the list that I think is quite cool, but let's explore a bit. This list is also cool, but I just want something catchy. A little bit catchy, not too much. We'll keep on changing until we find that particular blessed that we are looking for. This blessed, it's a it's fine. I like it, but let's see. Let's see this one. Mm. I think we have our blessed. This one is cool, and then you can adjust it. I'm impressed with this one. I like this one. And then I want a, an element of love. For us to be able to get what we want, we are going to be checking here. Here are the circles. It will give you different types of circles, ovals. But then if you want something else, like here, it highlights a lot of things. It is, I'm looking for hearts. I could choose to just type here, and then it will bring me 
or what I want, but I want us to go basic. I will choose from here which one I want. This is the one that stands out for me. So I'll just position it like that. I'll put it there. And then I have to group this to be one thing. So I've grouped it. So if you move it around, it will be one thing. And if you want to ungroup that maybe you want to take out something and add another thing, you just go and click there and ungroup. As simple as that. But I'm fine with this. I will group it. This is the blessed that I want to print on one of the t-shirts. After that, since I'm satisfied, I will download. And when you are downloading, it's going to give you options. We are going to go on. JPEG. And we download. It is very important before we up upload it to Cricut Canva Design to remove uh, the background because if we do not remove the background, the Cricut machine won't be able to, to cut it. So I'm going to open, I'm going to open my remove background app that I use. It's also just a Google away. So I'll just Google it, remove background. Okay, let me do it again. Remove background here. We are here. Okay. It's a bit slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here it is where I use to remove my backgrounds. So I have to upload uh, that picture, that design that we downloaded. Okay, I'll go to downloads. Blessed. It's blessed 10. Yes, I'll upload it. So just wait for a second for it to process. So now, as you can see, when uh, we downloaded it, it had a white background, but now it doesn't have any background. So you just click on it, it will download. Our Cricut Design Space is now open. If you remember our previous video uh, that we did for making our first T-shirt, if you did not watch that video, go and watch it or I will leave the link in a description box below so that you can click and watch it to see uh, the process that uh, I did for us to get to click a design space. Now I will just have to upload and then it will give me option. I will browse. Now we want to upload uh, that design that we did. Once it's loaded, we are going to upload, upload. But remember guys, you are only uploading the design that does not have a background. Blessed. Here it is. And we open. We go to complex, continue, apply, cut image, upload. Here it is uploaded and then we put it in our Cricut design space. We adjust it to how we want it to be. And then we press make it. We mirror it. This is the mat that shows how big it is. We mirror it. We press continue. And we are going now to uh, connect it to 
click uh, to our cricket machine so uh, this is how i design my all my designs in canva and upload them to cricket design space so now i'm doing five t-shirts four for a family a family of four and one for myself why not I know, right? <laughs> okay, so now this is the process on how we do it. I'll connect to my Cricut machine and I'll also do the other designs. And then I'll show you the finished product of the t-shirts, how the design came out on the t-shirts. Okay, now uh, these are the t-shirts that we printed we designed first in canva i did five like i told you the other one is mine and four is for a family mommy dad boy and girl so yeah so i would just have to fold them nicely for mommy and the family <laughs> okay let me just fold them quickly so that you see how beautiful they look for mommy Let's put it there. This one for for daughter, for son. Froish, my girl. Yeah, so we have four. Rare bread for daddy, for mommy, for son, and for daughter. And this is mine. <laughs> this is mine. It also needs to be folded nicely. You know, it's a gift to myself. Mm hmm. Yeah. With the love it deserves. Look at this, guys. This is the design that we actually made. So, this is the design. So, I'll wear it for you guys to see how beautiful it looks.